In this video, I'll be answering the question you see on the screen here from paper 33 from the year 2024 Cambridge A-level exams. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, there should be a link to a playlist in the description below. And if you're looking for a different paper, have a look around on my channel. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing. But remember, we're not in a classroom, so take advantage of YouTube, pause, rewind, whatever helps you out. Uh, if you find this or any of my videos useful, I would greatly appreciate a like, a subscribe, or even a share. In question three, one of the more difficult parts is to understand exactly what they're asking us to do. And basically, they're asking us to get the square root of 24 minus 7i and give, it, give its answer in the form of x plus yi. We do this question by writing it equal to x plus yi and then simply squaring both sides and trying to solve the real parts to the real parts, the imaginary parts to the imaginary parts. So let's do that. Let's uh, get the square of both sides. This one's easy. It's 24 minus 7i. The right hand side, if we square this, uh, we'll get, let's write out all the terms. We'll get x squared, x times y, we'll get two of them, so 2xyi. Um, and we'll get y by y and i by i. That'll turn out as y squared times i squared. i squared is just minus one. So we'll get minus y squared. If we clean this up a little bit and put all the real parts together, we get x squared minus y squared together plus two x y times i. So that's the real part, that's the imaginary part. Next, we just need to remember that real always equals real. So we're left with uh, this uh, set of simultaneous equations. x squared minus y squared is equal to 24, and 2xy is equal to minus 7. So we've moved on from this question, and now we're trying to solve a simultaneous equation. Um, you can do this multiple ways, but uh, I'd recommend you just take an x equals or y equals, whichever you want. I'll get y equals, in this case, and minus 7 divided by 2x. Once you have that, uh, well, first maybe get y squared, because we wanna, we're gonna want to replace the y squared up here. So y squared is equal to minus seven squared is 49 over four x squared. Let's write this first term, but uh, putting in this y squared now. We get x squared minus uh, 49 over four x squared is equal to 24. Okay, what are we, what has the question moved on to now? We're away from simultaneous equation. We're now onto a quadratic, even though it doesn't look like it quite yet. Um, we, we need to make this look like a quadratic. If we multiply everybody by this bottom row, we get uh, four times x to the power of four minus 49 is equal, four 24s are uh, 96, uh, we get 96 x squared. Um, still not quite a quadratic. Let's rearrange everything. Everything on the left. 4x to the power of 4 minus 96x squared minus 49 equals 0. Okay, a lot more like a quadratic now. Just one thing we need to know is, and it's quite a common uh, question to appear, so it's a, it's a good one to remember. Um, we, can set, we can set x to the power of 4 as x to the power of 2 squared. 4 times that, minus 96 times x squared, minus 49, equals 0. So look what we have here. We have x squared squared, x squared, and no x squared. That's a quadratic. Something squared, something to the power of 1, and something to the power of 0. Really, that's what a quadratic is. Um, so we go ahead and try and factorize this. It's gonna, let's break it out with the brackets, something like this. It's a difficult one to do. Remember, you can always uh, use the minus b formula to factorize some, or to solve a quadratic. Um, this one is a little easier than that, but it, it's still, lots of people have trouble with factorizing ones, especially ones like this, because we have multiple ways to get four x squared. We could have two x squared by two x squared. We could have four x squared by one x squared. Well, okay, only those two. And the same with 49, we could get um, 49 times one or seven times seven to get there. So combining them, what can get you to 96? Now the, the handy trick here is to notice 
7 by 7 would never be big enough to get to 96. Because 7 by the biggest number here would be a 4. That only gets you to 28. Plus another 7 times 1. We'd never get near there. So we are going to actually need 49 times 1. So then think of uh, what numbers go here. A 4 times 49. Oh, that's going to be too big. Left with just a 1. A 1 times 49 plus a 4. Not big enough. So it's actually going to be the 2 by the 2. And let's just double check all that works. 2x by 2x. 4x squared. Perfect. 49 by 1. Fine. Um, 49 times 2, that gets us to 98, very close, and then a, another 2, 98 minus 2 would get us there. Or in this case, because there's a minus, we would need minus 98, which would be a minus here, plus a 2. So we have uh, 2 times 49 minus 98, plus 1 times 2 is minus 96. This is uh, the factors of this. Uh, quadratic and this still equals zero so we're left with two possibilities 2x squared is equal 49 uh, if I just solve this equal than zero or this one 2x squared um, is equal minus one now there's a problem here um, or at least may maybe there's a problem I think a lot of students will accept that uh, no, something squared can't equal minus one let's change this x squared equals minus a half well, there's no two numbers that multiply to get a minus. But hang on a minute, we're in the imaginary world. So there is numbers to get minuses. Uh, but we did, we made the assumption at the start, when we tried to solve this, we made the assumption that x was a real number and y was a real number. We, we left i here for the imaginary part. Um, in theory, I guess you could solve this um, not assuming this was imaginary, but it, it'd get a little more difficult to do. Um, so we've assumed x and y are real. That means this cannot be an answer. So we're left with two answers here. x squared is equal 40, um, 49 over 2. x is equal to plus or minus square root of 49 is 7 over the square root of 2. But remember, we don't just need x. We also need y. So uh, if we try and solve for y, here's a, here's a handy line here. y is equal to minus... Uh, minus 7 over 2 times this. This plus and minus, uh, you don't have to write like this, you can just remember plus and minus, but this plus and minus will multiply by a minus, and how, I, at least I like to write it, is minus plus, so I remember which go with which. Um, so that's 7 over 2 multiplied by the rest of x is 7 over square root of 2. Uh, clean all this up, we get minus plus the sevens cancel and we get square root of two over two, or you could write that, you could leave it as this, or write that as one over the square root of two. So putting these together, because one final thing, we still want to say what are the answers to this. Putting this together, I would say one of the answers is, let's put a little box down here. The two answers uh, for the square root of 24 minus seven i is seven over square root of two, uh, minus, so this is x, x plus y, well, x is plus this, uh, y is minus this, so the minus and this plus get me this minus, uh, minus this gets me 1 over square root of 2 times i, that's one possible answer, the other possible answer is just the opposite, uh, minus 7 over square root of 2 uh, plus 1 over square root of 2 i. Okay, I hope uh, that answered the question for you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.